A few days ago we received an inquiry from a dealer who wanted to know how we highlight certain parts of our stamp images during our spot the difference videos we have done. He was wanting to do the same with some items he's selling online and wasn't quite sure how we accomplished it. We use Easy Image and the process is quite simple and has many options to suit your specific needs. Let's highlight certain parts of this stamp I have on screen here. First thing we must do is select the shape tool from the toolbox which is this one here which has the circle, uh, rectangle and diamond on it. So first we left click on it. When you do that the toolbar at the top will change to allow you to set the parameters for the shape tool. First we will select the shape we want to use. and I'm going to choose rectangle and I'm going to use a normal one. There are many shapes available from stars to octagons, but I'll leave that to you to explore and, and see what you like best. Next, we will set the border width. I have set it to 3 uh, for easy viewing during this video. I would normally use a 1 or 2, but select what works for you. You can experiment and see what you like. You can also set the anti-aliasing. You can turn that on or off. Anti-aliasing is just a fancy way of saying make your shape or line uh, with no jagged edges. You can also select the color of the shape you're about to place uh, by clicking on the foreground color which is here. I like to use a high contrast color compared to the stamp so I chose red which is this one here. Now we simply left click and drag the shape to the size we want and release the left mouse button when done. So I left click and then drag the shape and then let go and there's our shape. We can then drag it wherever we want. So up here I'm highlighting this um, blind perf area on this stamp. To set it we simply right click on an area outside of the shape. Oh sorry, <laughs> right click will get rid of it. I'm going to do that again. And then we right click within the shape. Okay, so that is now set. If you make a mistake, you can undo it easily by going to the edit menu and click undo paste floater and it's gone. So I'll temporarily put it back and set it. Now let's add one more. This time I'll, uh, I'll add a parallelogram. So I'm going to select the shape tool, choose my parallelogram. I'm going to change the color to blue this time. And again I'll drag my shape. There's our parallelogram and I'll move it by left clicking on it and dragging it over here to show these missing perfs or damaged perfs and then I can right click in it to set it in place. Highlighting specific areas of your images is extremely helpful in pointing out flaws and varieties to potential customers especially when selling online or, uh, or when you're exhibiting at stamp shows. Enjoy and uh, let us know if you have any questions.